Well, one of the biggest compliments an athlete can receive is someone saying they play the game with a lot of heart. It implies you play hard with tenacity and you never give up when facing adversity. Nick Ludwig has earned all of these descriptions simply by the way he lives his life. Arlissa Charleston has his amazing story. The drastic changes of pace in basketball are thrilling. Our pulses rise with the full court high speed chaos. Then slow down. When a player steps up to the free throw line, silence fills the gym as all eyes shift to one person. Matt and Tessa Ludwig's life was also fast moving with two kids and another on the way. When it came to a similar halt, all eyes turned to their third child, Nick. We found out then that Nick had what's called a single ventricle anomaly. There wasn't really hope for him. Normal hearts have four chambers. Nick has two. So his pumping mechanism is a fraction of what normal kids and, and adults would grow up with. Nick had three open heart surgeries by the time he was just five months old. He and his family have spent countless hours inside of a hospital. But now, he's a happy nine-year-old that hates to slow down. He's fought every day of his life, yeah, and he continues to. And he loves life so much, he doesn't know what his threshold is. So he, um, the doctors keep telling us, he'll learn to self-limit, he'll learn to self-limit. Nope, because he loves to have fun. You see it in his eyes, he wants so badly to compete. Well, it looks hard to play, but then it also looks really fun to play. It's been kind of boring sitting on a bench. For nine years, he had to watch from the sideline until he found out about Elk's Hoop Shoot, a national free throw competition at his elementary school. But then when we see it, we're like, oh my gosh, can I do this? Yeah, this is one of the things you can do. Yeah. Let's go get this one done. Yeah. Um, we're, we wouldn't miss this for anything. And Nick wouldn't miss many free throws, draining 80% of his shots when no one his age or even a grade older even hit 50. He came off the court with a smile from ear to ear because he was just excited to be a part of it. A smile that comes right back when you ask him how he shot 80%. Because my dad most of the time taught me how to shoot the ball properly. To see your, your son laying on a table opened up and then to look at him nine years later, shooting baskets, uh, knocking down free throws, and to see him compete when he gets the opportunities to do it are one of those things that just kind of take a mom and dad and just fill my heart with just joy. Nick uses every bit of his half-functioning heart to make others whole. With a basketball and a hoop, he's not thinking about what he doesn't have or what he can't do. I feel included because my friends always like root for me, but they also, I feel like they think about me. He did what he's always done. When the eyes and attention are on him and the stakes are high, Nick steps up to the line and makes you believe. We, we don't know what his future is going to hold. Um, we know that transplant is going to be something that he'll need at some point in his life. Um, but if he continues to fight the way he always has, which I know he will, um, he's got a really bright future. No one looks at their kids and, and goes, man, there's, there's a time clock on you. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I can say that as, as a grown man, how, how I, would, I would wither with what he's had to face. But it's awesome to see him look at life and he only sees good. That's our Alyssa Charleston reporting. Nick says he wants to keep working hard. Next year, make it all the way to the Hoop Shoot National Finals. That's in Chicago. We're certainly going to be rooting for you, Nick. And if you do make it, the deep dish is on us.